Coach, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, good. Uh, always feels better after a win, huh? <laughs> it, it does, yeah. We've uh, we've needed it. I mean, I think it's the <laughs> very similar performance to the last two games. You know, we just we just happened to get get the win this time. Um, you know, snaps a two game winless streak. You had chances up at WVU and then uh, tied uh, against Old Dominion last time you were home. Um, you know, it's something that Jow said, just being able to finish on those opportunities that are that are down and close to the goal. You missed on a couple early on. What did it take to finally get one of those to 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 go behind the net? I think it's the odds, right? Like if we're going to hit the target that many times, uh, statistically speaking, we have to score some goals. Um, but, you know, it's been similar number of shots in, against WVU, similar against ODU. We created a lot of chances. Um, we worked on finishing all week. And I think it's just that, just continuing to believe. And, and like Joe said, not getting too anxious, not getting too frustrated, just continuing to, to put yourself in the right positions and do the right thing. And, and maybe we had a bit of bad luck. I thought Milo's effort where the keeper made an unbelievable save. You know, he did everything right. He hit it hard, he hit it low, um, you know, on the break and the keeper got across to it. So you just keep, you do that more often than not, you're going to score one. And I think, you know, we, we got the, the reward of that. Milo got a little touch to it and it took it over to Zhao and Zhao finished it. Um, but they were both making those runs, you know, gambling in, getting in behind um, and, and it paid off. So we just got to keep doing that. We'll work on it again. You know, we'll keep, you know, doing it in training. So it's not a thing, you know, so it's trying to keep it out of their minds. And, um, you know, this week we did a lot of sort of positive visualization, sort of visualizing that first touch, visualizing that shot, uh, visualizing making that run, beating the defender to a header. Uh, or a finish or whatever it may be, just just trying to put ourselves in the in the position to score and, and to um, you know win games. And I think obviously our defense has been amazing, and we're playing so well possession wise, limiting chances of teams. We just need the final piece, which is the finishing. But it's coming, and you can see the guys like Milo Jamil now starting to get back into it. Jao's jumped in there. We got Dez coming back from injury, so he's he's back to full fitness now. So it's you know it, it's going to be good going forward if we can just kind of build on this. You, um, you talked about limiting other uh, other teams' chances. The defense uh, played a really solid match uh, today. Took took away some um, some some one on ones and that kind of thing. Uh, what can you say about the defensive effort of, of your guys today? Well, I mean, absolutely terrific. I mean, Colin Mosunis and, and Nate Dos Santos, you know, talking the whole time, um, organizing. Obviously, they've got they're a very good team. FAU are very good. They, they have some good movement. They play a nice possession style. They can go long into the big uh, number 16. They had the number nine who came on was a handful. Um, and I thought our guys did really well, especially those two defensively, um, you know, just kind of kept kept Ollie out of trouble, um, covered for us. It, it was a fantastic performance and obviously led by the two the two centre-backs. Pick up a big three points in Conference USA um, in regards to the standings. Every game's important, but especially coming here down the stretch, you got two regular season games. What do you, what do you say to keep your guys focused um, and still have a chance to win the conference? You know, I'm just honest with them. Uh, we had, I thought coming into the season, we probably had three lives, you know, and we lost one at Akron, although I think we were hard done by the referee. Um, so we played with 10 men. So I told them, don't worry about that one. You know, it's, we got we got a life there. And then, you know, the WVU match, although we played really well, we lost the game. So um, that was our, our sort of second life. And then the tie against ODU, you know, made us our third. So we're kind of playing on with no lives left, you know, so we're playing... Um, every game is a cup final, you know, now we move on to UAB, we have to focus, we have to win that game. And the guys know it, you know, we, we need it for the conference, we need it for the NCAA tournament, so we have to win these games. Um, and, and it has to, the, the, the points have to come after the, the great performance, you know, so, so they know we can play well in, and defend well, but we have to win games. Um, so now it's, it's on to UAB, we, it's another must-win game, they'll be focused all week. Um, you know, we'll give them a couple of days off to, to relieve the pressure a little bit, and then uh, back to work on Tuesday, and we'll, we'll continue to work on finishing, and we'll we'll build up how important this game is because we have to get three points. One last question about today. Um, you know, for the first 25, 30 minutes of the match, uh, no shots on goal for either team. What what changed in, in FAU's defensive stance that kind of allowed you guys to to get to creating those opportunities where where you were able to to get close in close in. Um, yeah, I think there was a couple of, I mean, there's a couple of opportunities. Um, I don't know, I guess no shots on goal. I don't kind of remember that happening that way. It was just 
it was slowly breaking down and, and kind of moving the game with possession up the field. And then the chances came on. I thought Milo kept coming on, um, did a great job stretching them, playing as the nine, running in behind. And it sort of opened up a lot more holes for us to play in between in between the lines. And then, you know, then the, the chances started coming thick and fast. And that's when we got, you know, got the goal at the end of that sort of run. All righty, Coach. Thank you so Thank you. much. Thanks, Luke. Thanks, Scott.